What's up, Sexy Sam Lander Squad? I just ran over my foot with my chair and it really hurts. How you guys doing? Today we're doing ranked 1v1. My hair won't stay up. I got a haircut. It looks better when my helmet... Helmet? When my hair... Head... Yep. Headset's off. Not really though, because I there's nothing in it and it just kind of falls. Um, Let's do... Alright. Uh, what do we play though? Is the question. I'm number one Poseidon NA. I just found out before this game. So if you guys want to see the best NA dueler in the world with Poseidon, you're in the right spot. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna play him. That's not true. I'm gonna let's play him. Oh no! <laughs> <coughs> this matchup's not awful. But for whatever reason, I lose this matchup. Like, Poseidon doesn't, but Sam does. So I hopefully sitting here and talking about it and stuff will okay. Sitting here and talking about it and stuff will actually maybe help me not be the worst uh Poseidon player versus Bologna's that have ever existed. I need to I need to get Gem of Isolation really quickly. I need to get uh, a lot of attack speed, I think. Normally, you know, I never normally go attack speed, but I think that might be the play, to be honest. Bursting can do a lot, but he has an alt that will jump my alt, and uh, if he gets Aegis, right, I'm, I, I should never be able to land a Kraken, so I can't really rely on that unless he messes up. So what I'm going to need to do is... What I'm thinking of doing is going straight, like I was gonna get Bancroft without even thinking, but I'm glad he paused actually, so it let me, give me time to think about what I'm building. I'm actually gonna rush gem first item, or maybe Warlock Sash, I don't really know. I, I'm I'm gonna get gem first. Um, and I think what I want is probably Sprint or Bracer. I think both have really good uses. Like Bracer for when he all ins me and I take like 80% of my health, I'm about to die to a bludgeon and then I Bracer and get like, what's 50% of 80? 40% of my health back? Um, no, it's not even 50%, is it? It's like 35% or 40. Yeah, 40%. Um, but the sprint could potentially just ignore all of that regardless. Oh, hello. Can he do that? I'm pretty sure that's illegal, what he's doing. Oh, never mind. Fantastic. We got our blue and wasted his time. Well, that hurt me. <clears throat> he can't kill me here, right? Yo, he's getting clapped up by these minions. You gotta be careful, my boy. Big boy. I wish that hit him. He's not gonna do the whole thing. He is doing the whole thing? Hey, we ulted him. We got his Aegis. Um, we stole the red buff. Um, okay, so basically, I didn't think he was going to commit to red buff. He did commit to red buff. Uh, it was an awful idea. So I was able to steal the red buff. And um, because he was committed to it, and I had my full passive from the wave... I was able to just kind of chase him down, 
forced him to Aegis because I got level 5. And then, um, now I have Gem of Iso, and I'm not a scaredy patootie pants anymore. Not to mention, First Blood is like crazy good in this matchup. Probably shouldn't have hit him, hit him with my one there. I probably could have killed him if I just didn't. I might have saved his life. I do have ult. If I ult him, he ults me, I die under tower. So, in case you're wondering, like, hey Sam, why, why don't you just walk at him and ult? Uh, that's the reason. Damn it, dude. I knew. I knew exactly. I knew that was exactly what he was gonna do. But I thought that my I thought that I had enough mana for like another ability after. But I didn't. Alright, well. Here goes the lead. That's alright. That's alright. We're still a little bit ahead. I made you think I was a noob. It was all a bait to kill you. No. No, you're Actually, I'm muting you. That's so ignorant to say. I literally knew exactly what he was going to do. The only reason it actually worked is because I didn't look at my mana. He's maxing bludgeon and I just let him hit me with it. Okay. I don't know what that was. I I thought that muting him made him stop whispering me, but um, I was incorrect. He could still whisper me. Um. Yeah, so let's just clear the wave. Eh, will I get it? I will get it. I'm scared. I'm gonna back. I'm gonna go get cooldown boots. Not gonna stop me. Oh, goodness. Uh, and then we're gonna go breastplate, just cause cooldown is important. I'm gonna go, like, basically in this matchup, you wanna just go max cooldown with Gem of Iso as fast as you can. And that's literally what I'm doing. Gem of Iso, boots, um... Breastplate right after. It's not technically max cooldown, but it's good enough because I'll be picking up blue buffs. Good as Aegis here. Never mind. We ulted him while he was in his two. You can't Aegis while you're in your bludgeon stance, bruh. Oh, that's a surrender. Big oof. So. Again. Only at 8 minutes and 40 seconds into this recording. Time to analyze. Why would he surrender when he knows... Uh, well, he knows me, first off. But I got first blood, and he came back and got a kill. The only reason I got that second kill was because... Um, or not the second kill. The second kill, he just kind of threw himself at me. To be honest, I should say GG. Um, the second kill, he just kind of threw himself at me, which I don't understand. That was like a really bad play. For whatever reason, he thought he could just kill me when neither of us had alts. But if neither of us have alts, I'm the one that wins the fight, not him. And then the third kill was just him. Uh, like if I'm sitting there and I'm hitting you as Poseidon, you're unable to do any action in the game when you're in an ability animation. So, <clears throat> him being Bologna, using his two, is a super long ability animation. And all I have to do while he's doing that is alt him. And he can't Aegis, he can't alt, he can't cancel his two and do something else, you know? 
because it's it's not cancel cancelable cancelable. That yeah, sounds right. You can't cancel the two, so all I had to do was just alt him, and all of a sudden he dies because he can't do anything. And <clears throat> then I just chain the CC with my alt with my one to knock him back, so he can't Aegis. Uh, weave in some auto attacks there for my two, and all he just dies. What's surprising here is the player damage. He actually was like 108 damage off of me in player damage, which is really crazy considering the fact that uh, I killed him three times and had him poked out for most of the game. Even, even in the very beginning when he was going for my blue buff, I won that trade and I got the blue. That was crazy. I don't know. It was a good game. There you go. Best uh, best Poseidon NA. Easy. And and EU, I think? Hold on. You know what? Let's look. So, I am the best NA, as you can see. This isn't EU, right? Find someone that is EU. Oh, it is, it is EU. Okay. So, not, not best... EU, but best NA and Australia. Unless this is Australia. This guy plays so much. This guy plays a lot too. But everyone knows this guy plays a lot. Alright, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what god in the comments that you guys want to see next. So I don't have to just keep like winging it on what god I feel like playing. Because I do like to have my god picked before my video starts. I just never do. Because I never know what to play because there's like a hundred gods in the game and I don't know what's going on. So, um, yeah, tell me what god you guys want to see in the comments. If you have even did watch this far. And until next time, guys, peace.